Um, tonight's event is looking at so-called legal highs. I say so-called because legal makes it sound as if it's attractive, as if it's harmless, where in fact we know through our experience that these sorts of substances can be harmful. The challenge we face is that because they are legal, we don't collect data, we don't collect information about how often we're coming across such cases. It's very difficult for us sometimes when we're dealing with something that's not against the law to count up how many of these events there are. But I know talking to police officers, talking to police community support officers who work in communities, who work in our town centres, I know that their experience has changed over the last few years. And what they're saying is much more evidence that these new psychoactive substances are in regular use. What sort of evidence? Well, they're often called to people who are suffering psychiatric crisis. We're called to a disturbance, for example. We find someone behaving in a very challenging or very bizarre fashion. Someone who's a threat to themselves and someone who's a threat to the general public. Now, we know that we're seeing a different pattern now. We're seeing people who don't normally behave like that all of a sudden behaving like that. Why? Well, we believe they're doing that because they're taking substances that are untested, that are unsafe, that have unintended consequences for those individuals that represent a real threat of harm. Now, I'm here to protect people from harm. That's what policing is about. So even though there isn't legislation yet in place, I'm determined that I will work with partners in the health service, in the local authority, councils, in order to help keep people safe, particularly young people who are perhaps the most vulnerable.